Hello you know, everyone, uh, this is a lesson on present day, it's financial maths grade 12. In our previous lesson, we did future day. So in the present value, the difference between the present value and the future value, the future value you invest, you put money away and eat it in the future. The present value you take a loan, you eat money now and then pay late. On your formula sheet, you have both formulas. And they're not confusing. The future value has an F. The present value has a P. Future F for future, present P for present. Okay. In this lesson, we're going to do present value. So we're going to look at one example. For example, in Sipo wants to become an engineer and applies for a student loan, loan of 200000 to cover the cost of his college studies. The loan is approved at an interest rate of 10.25% per annum compounded monthly. He prefers to pay the loan in 48 equal monthly payments. These payments start one month after receiving the loan. And the question is calculate his monthly repayment. Okay, with this section, because there's too many words, it's a story. You can't read it once. You have to read it the first time to get what is the story about. And then read it the second time and write what you are given. Then the third time calculate. So we're going to read it again now. Write what we are given. Right, Sipo wants to become an engineer and applies for a loan. So if they say a loan, you know it's going to be a present fair of um 200,000. So this is the amount you write it that's your p that's the amount that he wants. This is cost to 200,000. And to cover the cost of his college studies, the loan is approved at an interest rate of 10.25% interest rate. It's 10.25. You take your calculator you go 10.25 percent means divide by 100 10.25 per hundred divide by 100 don't write the percentage in a percentage form so it's 0 0.1025 you always write it as a decimal in your formula you use it as a decimal now this is the percentage per annum then they say compounded monthly compounded monthly what does it mean? It means every month he's going to pay a portion of this compounded month. He's going to pay a portion of this 10.25%. It doesn't mean every month he's going to pay 10.25%. No. They're going to take the 10.25% and divide it into months. When you get a compounded question, you ask yourself, how many months in a year? They are 12 months in a year. So it means that he's going to pay this amount 12 times. They're going to divide it by 12. When you're dealing with these questions, don't calculate it out and have a decimal because you have you have to round it off. So leave it as a fraction. It's it's better like that. It's not rounded off. Because in maths lit, we only round, not maths lit, in financial maths, we only round off our final, final answer. Then the next one, he prefers to pay the loan in 48 equal payments with this grade 12 formulas the n it's not the number of years it is the number of payments so they're saying he's gonna pay 48 equal payments they did not give you yes if the question has given you yes let's say five years You'd say 5 times 12. But here, already they're telling you that he's going to pay for 48 times. So you don't multiply that 48 with a 12. And then they're telling you 48 monthly payments. These payments start one month after. This is also important, the one month after. When you take a loan, you pay one month after. That's when your loan starts. Okay. Then we're going to calculate the monthly the payment list. sheet you write the present value in, in formula is similar to the future day but it's not the same you have to look at the formula it's, it has a p and then it's x into one minus one plus i very important with a present value the n is minus n with a future value is just n but even here it's not exactly the same so you have to copy it from your formula sheet okay my p was two hundred thousand two hundred thousand x x is the month that will pay every month we remember they said he's gonna do 48 equal payments of how much 
this is the root. And then the one comes with the formula minus one plus the interest is 0, 0,1025 divided by 12. Then we close the bracket. The number of payments is 48. And then also close the bracket there divided by the interest is 0, 0,1025 divided by 12. Right there. Different ways you can find your x. Some learners prefer to multiply everything here and have a decimal. If you do that, don't round it off. And then they divide with a decimal. I prefer getting rid of the denominator first. So I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.1025 divided by 12 both sides. Here, this side multiplied by 0 0.0125 divided by 12. This will cancel that. Then I take my calculator. And multiply that right if i multiply 0 0.1025 multiplied by 200,000 i get six or six thousand and twenty five divided by three whatever fraction you get here don't round it off leave it as a fraction leave it as a fraction and then here you multiply all of this into your calculator you have one minus open bracket one plus fraction and then 0 0.1 0, 0.025 go down in a fraction 12 close your bracket power minus 48 is equals to then i get multiplied by 0 0.33519323394 try to keep as many decimals as you can right okay another thing here if you forget to close one bracket your answer will give you a net error. It doesn't mean you've done something mathematically wrong. It's just telling you that you have you forgot to close one bracket, go up and close it. So when you get here, you divide both sides with that long number. But you don't have to worry about it. In your calculator, you still have it in your calculator. So you'll punch that and say divide by answer. There's an answer button. Then you, you write that and then you get the, the correct answer. Or already because you have the number, you just no, I think you have to do the fraction first. You have to go fraction 6025, 6025, go down 3, and then divide by 3. Answer. When you find our x, here, we've actually divided by this whole number. You don't have to write that. You don't get marks for doing the arithmetic. They expect you to be able to use a calculate. Then here you can get your x to be 5,991. You always round off your, your final answer into two decimal place, 5, 7. So he's supposed to pay 5,991.57 cents for 48 months. Okay, this is how we do the future value question. Let us go through this again. Okay, you multiply both sides with, with the denominator. Then the denominator will go away. Then you punch all of this in your calculator, you get that number. This number will be in your calculator. Then, because we're supposed to divide it, the side, you divide both sides. So what you're going to do, you're going to punch this fraction, 6025 divided by 3. Then you say divide by answer. You put in the answer button. Then you say equals to. Then you're going to get that. So this is the end for this week.